I thought you hate that. You always come into like a place and there's like one guy in the corner and you're just like, uh, uh, he's kind of like sitting there and just kind of like, pretend like we don't see him. Like, oh, well, we're just going up the stairs normal, going backwards, way up the stairs like I always do. <laughs> just try to ignore the guy. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm heading back now off to find some railway tracks. So I took a look on uh, Google Maps, or maybe I should call it Winterberry. Wink, wink. Wink, 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 wink. Uh, definitely super nice to be able to even just see what the layout of the land looks like, even though I can't find my position. So I decided uh, to look at the map just because uh, a lot of these trees look uh, identical. It looks like they just used a bunch of the same objects. So even some of the fallen trees look exactly like uh, other trees that uh, are also fallen. So it looks like they just reused a bunch of the objects, which makes it really difficult. It also would have been uh, super awesome if we could have uh, marked the trees as we go by. So if we could have actually used a knife on a tree or something like this to indicate that you passed this tree, that sort of thing. There's some things that you could have maybe done in the game would have made this a little bit uh, easier. I definitely found it a little bit too challenging trying to find your location when you couldn't do something like that. It'd just be nice to be able to mark the tree and and uh, I guess I could have laid some stuff down. So I guess if you can collect enough things that you can just drop behind you and kind of leave a, leave a trail. There's a little wolf guy in the distance there. He's I think he's pretty far away. He won't hear me. So even though I'm talking at kind of loud, I think he's fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's good. Anyway, so uh, I looked on the map and I found that there's like this lake. Oh, looks like he's coming after me after all. Uh, oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, well, I guess I wasn't going to try to kill for meat, but I guess might as well take some fresh stuff because all the stuff I have uh, it's starting to expire. It seems like the meat uh, expires faster indoors than it does outdoors, so you can actually put the meat outdoor and leave it outdoors and it'll spoil uh, less fast, but uh, or slower I guess would be the word, right? If I was looking for a word that would translate from less fast to a regular English word would probably be slower, but anyway. So uh, I looked in the map and I found there's this fishing area. It looks like there's a little fishing lake and a camp, um, sort of like a camp office. So I'm going to head there. So basically it's kind of like a northeasterly direction and I'm looking for a set of railway tracks. So I'm going to get to the railway tracks and they'll lead me, uh, I'll take the rail railway tracks north and that should lead me to some uh, a camp office that should have a bunch of resources and should be right beside a fishing lake where I can actually do some fishing. So I'm going to try that. I'll come back in a few minutes and I'll bring you back when I've found something maybe. All right, I'm back now and I think this is I was walking north along this path. There's more cars up there, some derailed cars uh, up there, but there is the camp office right there. So that's really what I was looking for. I think this is a pretty good place. It's gonna have a lot of supplies, I think, I'm sure. So hopefully, uh, I'm guessing there's probably not a lot of wildlife out there. Maybe there is, I don't know. But there's probably, it's gonna be some good fishing areas. At least I can do some fishing and get as much uh, fresh fish as I need, I think. Uh, wood is the biggest issue, because uh, you can't... Fortunately, even though there's trees all around, you can't chop down those trees. Which is kind of too bad. So, nice, I don't know what that's supposed to be, a picture of the camp office or something? Not too sure. Yeah, so there, I think I see some uh, ice fishing huts. So that's where you go, you can go and do some awesome fishing, which is what I'd like to do. So 
let's see. I'm gonna check out this. I'm gonna check out this office first, though. Let's see what's in here. Oh wow! Look at this place. This is oh wow! This is awesome. The ski jacket, perfect. Chair I can probably break. Yeah, I can break down the chair for cloth and things like that. Calendar, no date though or year on it. So hmm. Can I use this calendar? Anyway, some post-it notes, nice counter. So it looks like a shop counter. A radio it doesn't work. No. Oh. Looks pretty good. Some coffee. Somebody left some coffee on. A few little things here. Some sardines. More bandages. Filing cabinet. What are they? Oh! Perfect sewing kit. That's exactly where you store sewing kits in your filing cabinets. But I'll take it. That's great. So this is pretty awesome. This is actually a really awesome place. Okay, some good tinder stuff here. Awesome. Reclaimed what is excellent. Storm lantern, awesome to have. And a workbench. So a workbench is great. I was really worried about leaving that workbench at that cabin I was at. But having one here is awesome. Oh, some cloth. Good stuff. Another first aid kit. Oh, emergency stuff. Emergency systems here and some pills. That's excellent. Light switch does not work. Shelf I can break down. Some lantern fuel. Awesome. Lantern fuel. And uh, something to improve my skills. Excellent. This is great. I haven't seen this before, so that's awesome. So I'll try to do that during the during daylight. But this is an awesome place. This is great. I've even got a little populi stove, so I can probably do some cooking in there. That is fantastic. So this place really has everything you need. It's kind of like got everything that... Oh no. There's a guy. The dead body. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Oh no. What's that guy doing there? Don't you hate that? You always come into like a place and there's like one guy in the corner and you're just like, uh... Uh... He's kind of like sitting there. You can just kind of like... And like we don't see him, like, oh, um, we're just going up the stairs normal, going backwards, way up the stairs like I always do. <laughs> just try to ignore the guy. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well. Let's see what he's got. Okay, well. Sorry, buddy. Yes. How's it going? Good? Okay. That's good. Uh let's see what else we got jeans so it's nice to have some extra other pair of jeans there bedroll oh yeah this is awesome so if you ever lose a bedroll and you're trapped outside you're kind of stuck because you can't sleep so you can uh, when you get really tired and you can't actually fall asleep anywhere you really need to have a bedroll with you some shoes is good so it's always good to have a bedroll and it's I think super expensive to make a bedroll this is pretty awesome. This has got pretty much everything. Painkillers, more painkillers, books. Great. Newspapers. It seems like this guy should have been able to survive a lot longer than he did. Because, I mean, like, he's got everything, really. He's got some... He's right close to the fishing shacks for, like, getting fish. And he seems to have, like, a lot of fuel still. A lot of wood that he could burn. Newspapers that he could burn. This looks like a, uh application form for... Canadian citizenship, I am assuming. Looks like it. Yeah, yeah, that's all in order. I guess he was reviewing it. Maybe he was the last worker and he was working on that paperwork and then he just kind of said, I'm not leaving until that paperwork is done, you know? <laughs> he was a dedicated employee. He's like, you know, people were telling him it's going to take forever to do that paperwork. He said, No, I'm not leaving until it's done. <laughs> oh my goodness, this poor guy. So this is the map of the area, it looks like. Um, here maybe? Not really sure what that's supposed to be, and then I guess that's maybe a compass or a house or something. Not sure. Anyway, this is pretty awesome. I like this place. I think this is where I'm gonna set up shop. Uh, it seems to be like the place. The place indeed. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to maybe get rested up a little bit, and uh, then I'm going to go explore. All right. Talk to you guys in a bit. All 
All right, guys, I have wandered onto the lake just past the camp office here, and I'm just heading towards all the fishing shacks. They look like they are uh, something else in there. So it looks like the ice is at least thick enough to walk on. There's lots of trees in this area. I really wish you could cut trees down in this game. That would just be awesome. Then you'd basically be set, right? You could just chop down trees, get enough firewood, fish for what you need, and you can basically survive here until... I don't know what happens when you're the last person on Earth. Aliens come down and repopulate the planet or something. I guess I don't know what happens. <laughs> Not sure what's going on. Looks like there's something there anyway. Huh. Not too sure, but I really want to get to this fishing shack here. I want to see what's in there. It looks like this is a pretty good sized little lake. All right, finally get to the fishing shack. These are pretty nice fishing shacks, actually. So that's the ice hole you got to break down. Let's see what's in there. There's a bullet to the side here. Let's grab that. This is pretty handy. Scrap metal is good for making those fish hooks. So then, yeah, I can just break that down. So pretty nice little fishing shack. You can break that little hole there, and then you can start fishing. And it seems like there's quite a bit of, quite a few fishing shacks around, and then some cabins. My guy's kind of a little bit burdened here, which is kind of a pain, I guess, but... Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the rest of these cabins. I'll search around a bit, and then I'll come back for some fishing. Okay guys, so I checked out some of those cabins, and there wasn't really hardly anything, not really much useful. Uh, I went and collected a little bit extra firewood, and then I thought I would come do some fishing. It's getting late, but I think it's enough time I can still do some fishing. Really, that's what I came to this lake for, was to do some fishing. So I'm going to break this open, I think, with the pry bar is maybe the best. Either the axe or the pry bar, I'm not sure which one. Soon. So if I can break this open, hopefully. There we go. Now I can... Oh, I choose fish for an hour. Oh, and I caught something. Look at this nice lake white fish. Look at that. Yummy fish. Oh, yeah. Pretty tasty little guy there, I'm sure. Do I have time to... Oh, I'm still fishing for the hour. Now it's too dark again to actually see anything. Uh, so let's try using my actual lantern this time. This is going to be bright enough to see. Great! Fantastic! Look at that. So, I did make a note to where I was going so that I could find my cabin again, but again, it's a little hard to see. So it's directly past the back of that... back of that fishing shack. Still walking. Still walking. Still walking. Still walking. <laughs> so it looks like this would be very easy to get lost out here when it's dark. Because you can't tell which way you're facing. But I see the cabin now, so I know I'm going the right way here. I'm just gonna run in there, I think, bunker down for the night. Uh, this guy's got pretty nice property here. It's like right on the lake. If you had a nice boat that you could tie up there to the dock, that'd be awesome. It's a pretty awesome little place. Oh, some dog food. You can never have enough dog food. What would be really awesome in this game is if you could actually like train a wolf or something, you know, train a pet wolf or a tame one, you know, so that he could be like your companion type of thing, you know, like. You have a you and the wolf out trekking stuff and whatnot, right? So I think what am I gonna do? Lots of sardines. No, I should actually start eating these ones. So I don't need anything under fifty percent because I think that's just uh, asking for for some trouble. So I'm gonna eat. Just I'm gonna just eat all this stuff that. Uh, is safe to eat and then the rest I'll just get rid of I think. 
Might as well eat the canned stuff. It seems to spoil faster. And then, uh, then I don't have to bother with the fire and stuff like that. I'll probably do the fire thing after. It's better to cook tomato soup, I think. And the dog food. I can drink a lot of, a lot of soda pop. It's good that the soda cans, soda pop survives the disastrous event. Caused everything to freeze. Don't know why those aren't actually solid frozen. Or frozen solid, I guess. I'm not sure. So I can break this down if I wanted to. I'm gonna turn off the lantern and catch some of these till morning till at least daybreak or something. Oh, that was a good good night's rest there, you know, in this cabin that doesn't have any dead bodies at all. That's pretty awesome, I think. Okay, well, I'm going to look around the lake a bit more. I'll probably catch a few more fish, look for some firewood, and then I'll head back to the camp office. Why, hello, Derry. Are you the lone survivor of a downed aircraft? Are you the only human being left alive being chased by wolves and just given her? Then come on down to Canadian Dave's Survival Emporium. That's, we've got everything for you. We've got bottles of water. We've even got some jackets, eh? And some uh, storm lanterns and rifle cartridges and even some lake whitefish. So if you're in the need for some resources indeed, well then come on down to Canadian Dave's Survival Emporium. Just ignore the corpse upstairs and leave your shoes by the door. Sorry guys, that is horrible. Terrible. And awful but I've got a pile of resources everything's sort of packaged up here it's all ready to go I've got nice piles of wood and basically everything that I need so until next time keep fit and have fun